creating a center of excellence is so important for the work that we do at Episcopal Retirement Services. You know, from where I stand, it's a combination of the good work that we've done over the last several years. We have focused intentionally on creating wonderful residential environments that really enhance the way people with cognitive loss can live by providing therapeutic programming and a wonderful living environment. We also have reached out into our community and have created a bold initiative called Dementia Inclusive Cincinnati, where as I stand here today, I'm going to tell you that Cincinnati will be the most inclusive city in our country by 2025. Our residents' families have come to trust that our memory support households offer safe and secure environments with compassionate care. So in our physical environments, we redesigned them so that decision points were just steps away. That when you walk out of the living room or walk out of a bedroom, you smell something, you hear something, you want to taste something, and you're drawn into the activity. ERS has developed a suite of memory support services that include many different therapies that we offer to our residents living with dementia. We have a program called SIDO, which is the foundation of our memory support suite of services. We also have programs such as Music and Memories, Java Music, Health Rhythms, Art Therapy, and many more. Dementia Inclusive Cincinnati is an initiative founded by our president and CEO, Laura Lamb. This initiative started a couple of years ago with a steering team, including the City of Cincinnati, UC Health, the Alzheimer's Association, and other community partners. We piloted the Memory Cafe at the Harrison Library, which was the first um, branch that did the Memory Cafe in the library system. And um, through that, we partnered with the Alzheimer's Association and Episcopal Retirement Services to do some training for staff ahead of time. Uh, it's nice to see people, and, and we see people at some of the other Alzheimer events nice. that we've met here. We've found that this library, since the memory cafes have been here, has become very safe and welcoming and dementia inclusive. We're encouraging local businesses and partners to be intentional about being dementia inclusive. This is going to provide a better community for people to live in who are living with dementia and their care partners. As a part of ERS's Memory Support Center of Excellence, we've established a relationship with the University of Cincinnati. We've worked closely with Dr. Rana Schatz and her team at the UC Gardner Neuroscience Institute to provide educational opportunities and trainings for people living with dementia and their care partners. Our work with the University of Cincinnati has been wonderful. We have been partnering with UC's Neuroscience Institute, and what that's really allowed us to do is to really benchmark and make sure that the clinical practices and protocols that we use, either working in the community or with our residents living at one of our retirement communities is state of the art. And having UC as a partner has just really propelled the work that we've been doing internally and externally. In my opinion, this is the most difficult journey someone has to walk. This is about mamas not remembering who their babies are. And it's that intimate and personal. And if I can help one family understand what's going on and how to get through this terrible disease and find some joy and some laughter along the way, then I'm gonna be about doing it all day long. We recognize that we can't do this work alone and we need your help. We need your help to enhance the lives of those that are living with this disease and those that love those that are living with this disease. So um, whether that be your, your time, your connections, your financial resources, or, or just your ideas. Uh, we want and need your support because together we know we can make a difference in the lives of those we serve. Mm -hmm.